Superior absorption compared to regular turmeric. Qnol, the better turmeric. Adventure sales event is happening now. Land Rover above and beyond. Glow to the max. Makeup now optional. New Avino Max Glow Infusion Drops with Kiwi to lock moisture and soy to even skin tone. Unleash dewy glowing skin from within. New Avino Max Glow. Cleaning with Kaboom feels like. Whoa. Oh my. Hey now. Work it. Get down. Now that's clean. Kaboom! It's oddly satisfying. Monday night, Senator Bernie Sanders, a CNN presidential town hall, live from Washington, D.C. Do not let this president try to divide us up. Wolf Blitzer moderates, Monday night at 8 Eastern, only on CNN. Hi, we're Warby Parker, an eyewear company that offers high-quality glasses starting at $95, including prescription lenses. Our frames are designed in-house and made from premium materials like cellulose acetate and lightweight titanium and include scratch-resistant and anti-reflective lens coatings. It may sound too good to be true, but we believe glasses can be well-made, stylish, and affordable and have set out to prove that with every pair. Try five frames for free today at warbyparker.com. I got this mountain bike for only $11. DealDash.com, the fair and honest bidding site. An iPad worth $505 was sold for less than $24, a PlayStation 4 for less than $16, and a Schultz 4K television for less than $2. I want these Bluetooth headphones for $20. I got these three suitcases for less than $40. And shipping is always free. Go to DealDash.com right now and see how much you can save. 36 hours with the Taliban on the Situation Room with Wolf Blitzer, Monday at 6. I try to do my part for the environment, separate my recyclables, and when I have too much to be picked up, I drive it myself in my truck to the recycling center. So imagine my shock when I read, both in my local paper and The Guardian, that half of Philadelphia's recyclables are now being burned in an incinerator. The explanation? China. Until recently, China had been taking about 40% of U.S. paper plastics and other recyclables, but in January of 2018, China implemented a strict non-contamination policy that most American cities can't meet. The economic fallout? Massive. By way of example, in Philadelphia, the city has gone from getting paid for its recyclables to having to pay to get them taken away. Joining me now is Trevor Zink. He's an assistant professor of management at Loyola Marymount University. Trevor, many of us who recycle, we think we're doing right by the environment, but you challenge that assumption. That's right, Michael, and thanks for having me. Uh, and I think you're right to be shocked about the news article from Philly. Uh, and I think uh, it's right to be upset that people are being misled about what's going on uh, with their recycling. But I think over what I found over the course of my research is that people are being misled on a much broader scale and in general about recycling. How so? Well, most people think that recycling is automatically a good thing, that it sort of happens for free, environmentally speaking. That uh, when you recycle something, it just sort of goes away, it becomes something new, and it doesn't create any, any environmental damage. But that's not the case. Recycling is a complex industrial activity involving collection trucks, sorting facilities, washing facilities, reprocessing and remelting facilities, and all of those activities have significant environmental impacts. So the only way... Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, so I, at, at our house, you know, it's, it's the paper and it's the plastic uh, that all goes in one particular bin. How do you do it at your place? Uh, well, uh, to be honest, I don't recycle. I'm an avid environmentalist and I don't recycle. And, and the reason is, uh, it, again, in order for recycling to make sense environmentally, what it needs to do is prevent something that's more harmful than itself. So it needs to prevent primary production, making things from raw materials, virgin materials. And over the course of a decade of research that my colleagues and I have done, we've found 
that that just doesn't happen. Recycling, there's no guarantee that when you recycle something, it prevents, you recycle a plastic bottle, for instance, that it prevents a new bottle being made from crude oil. And furthermore, the reason I don't recycle is partly because of my own research uh, in, the, in, in terms of the in, in efficacy of recycling. But more so, it's from behavioral research coming out of Boston University that says that recycling actually subconsciously increases the amount of materials that we consume. It, it increases our usage and our purchase. And, and the reason is we think that recycling sort of atones for our sins of consumption. And we know we shouldn't buy the plastic bottle, but it's okay because I'll recycle it later. So it, it removes the incentive to be more frugal with our usage. Okay, so what I'm hearing from you is consumption, consumerism, is really at the root of this. And subliminally, we're buying a lot of crap because we say, hey, I'll be able to recycle the carton or the plastic or whatever it, it comes in. What should we be doing? Take my final 30 seconds and, and tell us what we should be doing. That's exactly right, Michael. And there, the thing is, there are very good environmental decisions people can be making to purchase less, consume less, eliminate single-use items entirely, uh, eliminate or reduce meat from your diet. These are all very meaningful things that an individual can do. But the fact is, recycling is not really one of those things. By the time you get to the point where you're deciding what bin to put your trash in, it's too late. The environmental decision happens not at the point of disposal, it happens at the point of purchase. Trevor Zink, thank you for your analysis. It's provocative. Thank you very much. Still to come, your best and worst tweets and Facebook comments like this one. Smirkanish, I was out for an early morning run while visiting my family in Virginia, saw garbage collectors load all the carefully separated recycling into the main truck. Caroline, I was floored when I saw this report that said 50% of Philadelphia's recyclables go straight to the incinerator. By the way, I have a solution, although I think what he said is, is very interesting. It, it, it should probably be at the root cause that we focus, but maybe, just wondering, we should be recycling one item and having no contamination. If they can't properly separate plastic from glass, et cetera, et cetera, then why don't we just go with glass and do the best that we can in that one area? Back with more comment in just a sec. Uh Book now and enjoy free unlimited open bar, free airfare, and more. Norwegian Cruise Line. Feel free. Ruby Tuesday's Dinner for Two, just $24.99. Choose two of six delicious entree favorites, two endless garden bars, and a delectable dessert to share. Come find your new favorite. Ruby Tuesday's Dinner for Two, just $24.99. Flight number 417 is behind. You should be mad at airports. Where's gate 87? You should be mad at non-seasoned travelers. And they took my toothpaste away. And you should be mad at people who take unnecessary risks. He's my emotional support snake. But you're not mad because you have E-Trade, whose tech helps you understand the risk and reward potential on an options trade. It's okay. It's not liquid or a gel. And even explore what-if scenarios. Where's gate 87? Don't get mad. Get E-Trade and start trading today. Hi, I'm Alex Schultz. And I'm Andrew Cooper. In 2015, we took a surf trip to Bali, Indonesia, and saw firsthand just how bad the world's plastic pollution crisis really is. We wanted to make it our mission to solve this problem, and we have. We started cleaning the ocean by ourselves until 2017, when we started our ocean cleanup company, 4Ocean. Now, we've become the world's largest ocean cleanup company, employing captains and crews seven days a week to clean our oceans and coastlines. We've operated out of 27 different countries, and to date, we've removed over 2 million pounds of trash from the ocean. And now, we're inviting you to join the clean ocean movement. All of our cleanup efforts are funded entirely through the sale of our bracelet. The 4Ocean bracelet is made from our ocean plastic and the recycled glass bottles that we collect. Every bracelet purchase helps fund the removal of one pound of trash from the ocean and supports the 4Ocean cleanup movement. So visit 4Ocean.com today to become part of the solution. This is the story of John Smith. Not this John Smith. Or this John Smith. Or any of the other hundreds of John Smiths that are Humana Medicare Advantage members. No, 
It's this John Smith, who we paired with a Humana team member to help address his own specific health needs. At Humana, we take a personal approach to your health to provide care that's just as unique as you are, no matter what your name is. Here we go. Discover. I like your card, but I'm absolutely not paying an annual fee. Discover has no annual fees. Really? Yeah. We just don't believe in them. Oh, nice. You would not believe how long I've been rehearsing that. No annual fee on any card, only from Discover. Tonight, Vans got Congressman Joe Kennedy of the historic political dynasty. Hear why he's backing Elizabeth Warren in 2020 and what moral issues concern him most. Plus, political comedian Hassan Minaj on fighting back against censorship. The Van Jones Show, tonight at 7 Eastern. My favorite part of working on the launch has been making the music. Get into it. The search for Canada's next big hit. DTV's The Launch. All new Wednesday at 8, 9 Mountain. And coming soon. I'm sorry about your dog. I'm happier. Sc excuse me? I'm so sorry about your dog. Your dog was fantastic. Huh. I don't know. Okay, you know that I am Jan Arden, right? We'll be in touch. I don't sing my own songs. Why? I just don't feel comfortable. Why wouldn't you feel comfortable? Almost every single person has told me they liked the way I sounded, but that they didn't like the way I look. I think you're beautiful. This is CNN. 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 Senator Bernie Sanders, a CNN town hall, Monday night at 8 Eastern, only on CNN. My Twitter and Facebook pages are crackling today. What do we got? Put something up there for me. I can't believe Smirkanish is defending Bod Kraft as an unwitting perp in a sex trafficking ring. Kraft chose these girls because he knows they're voiceless and powerless. How do you know they're voiceless and powerless? Ha Patricia, respectfully, how do you know they don't choose that life? Look. I said very clearly at the outset of the program that if this is a case of indentured servitude, then those who put those women in that path, their employers, need to be held accountable to the, the highest extent of the law. But does he deserve this? Seriously, does he deserve this? Craft American sleaze or ban Bob? Ban Bob for a misdemeanor? 77-year-old guy who was looking for some short-term companionship? We should ban him? That's ridiculous. And what a waste of, of law enforcement resources. No, no greater waste of law enforcement resources except Jussie Smollett's hoax, alleged hoax. Give me another one. Smirkanish, awesome job at carrying Trump's water again. Hey, Duck Hunter, I'm not here to carry his water, sir. It just occurred to me that if there's a collusion case to be made, Seemingly, all roads lead through Roger Stone, right? The conduit to WikiLeaks and presumably, therefore, to the Russians. Stone hasn't been prosecuted for any conspiracy, which would be the literal charge. He's been prosecuted for the process crimes. So if Mueller is indeed wrapping up, then doesn't that logically say, hey, Mueller has not put together a case for conspiracy. I'm not carrying the president's water. I'm just offering you some legal analysis that, frankly, you need to hear. One more, quickly, if I've got time. I told you, people are fired up today. Amy Klobuchar was smart. If she was smart, she'd market a line of patented salad combs and roll with the punches. Jonathan, you're right. You know, you're, you're absolutely right. Look, if Amy, I cannot believe we're talking about this, but we're talking about it because it's the front page of the Times. If Amy Klobuchar wants to eat a salad with her comb, 